this place, deep inside the French countryside, has remained concealed from the human eye for years. It was once the residence of a military police officer named Mr. Roger. Where he is now and why his house was once abandoned in the first place remains a great mystery to us. But one thing is obvious. All her belongings were left behind, including something we've never seen before. Prepare yourself for this astonishing place as we finally unravel its hidden treasures today. Welcome back everyone on the channel and the place you are about to see today is so secret that by the time you are actually watching this, this place does not exist. This is an exploration from a long time ago and this place is unbelievable. So let's start telling you a little bit about the history, what we can. And that's that this place actually was owned by a man with the first name Roger. And this man had a high rank in the military police. Inside of this place are 14 rifles, 14 double barrel rifles. Weapons, we even found a sable, a sword. It is insane. As you can see over here, there is still uh, like the, um, the sign of the police with the French flag. Engagements of Fils de Rensement Ringomenes. Yeah, it's something about the office. I don't know the exact translation of this, but yeah, enjoy watching this video because it's gonna be a mind boggling experience together. Let's do this. So we start in their kitchen part that's absolutely full of details everywhere. So many things to point out. And look at the timbered design of this house with all the wooden ceiling beams. It's a very French style of house, man. Very traditional as well. And then again, the sign over here. <laughs> so cool, all the decorations. And then all these plates, which hold like I don't know, it resembles a different type of countries. Yeah, and I also think it all had a symbolic value. Yeah. Well, then besides the decorations over here, we have to scan it. But I want to see what is inside. Yeah, me too. There is also this very vintage photo of a family. Now Raymond is meanwhile carefully grabbing everything so we can open these cabinets because we are so curious what's inside. Wow, all their crystal, bro. Everything is still pristinely there. And I guess also on the other side, right? Probably. I think I can see it from here. Oh yeah, all the Whoa. crystal. Entirely full. You can see some slight white mold spores on the shelves. Which is just unbelievable. We are 
one of the very first people to ever be here. Oh yeah, definitely the first filmers. And also the last ones, yeah. for sure. So yeah, as you can see, putting everything back in its original position, how we encountered and found it. I think those ones might be locked. Yeah. It's a desk. <laughs> yeah, you could bend this out. Yeah. And then we have this bicycle over here, which is pretty strange. And what I also notice is that there was a license plate right behind it. Oh yeah. And then we have all the ornaments over here. Very traditional kitchen and the floor is squeaking so hard. Yeah, it's a very squeaky wooden floor yeah. in this very old French it's house. It's literally located in the middle of nowhere. Oh yeah. And actually the funny thing is we don't know an exact date of abandonment. But according to the furniture, this is abandoned for a long time if I look so. Honestly, I think it's abandoned for four or five years maybe. Yeah. I don't think longer than that. Okay. Wow. Look at all those chucks and tabs of laminate there on top. Yeah, loads of them. Quite some vintage stuff. These old jars. Some porcelain for all the spices. And yeah, you can just tell that everything the daily base needed is left. It's like the former inhabitants just vanished into the blue. This military police officer never returned and neither did his relatives to reclaim all the items left inside. The cookbooks and this is even completely gone. Oh my gosh, we are still some empty bottles of wine. They probably used them for cooking. This was the trash can. <laughs> All made of wood. Yeah, I can't open this up. It's like blocked. Okay. Huh. Yep, everything. Probably where are the pots and pans. Yeah. There's even still a bed warming pan over here on the wall. Why is it on the wall? Okay. Well, should the water still run? Oh my, <laughs> still a little bit. That was the last drip. <laughs> and also the very first drip ever since abandonment, I ever think. Ever since abandonment. And this is where it came from. <laughs> Damn. Look over here. This looks like where they would put wood and fire and make fire, you know? Oh, yeah. Something for the garden and then here with the smoke come out. But why? Only for heating or? Yeah, they would put the wood in here. For outside most of the times. Hmm. They would not use something like this inside, but it's made out of copper. You see the oxidation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, what's this door here? That's mysterious. Wow. Yeah, the food storage. This is incredible, inside of those stone shelves over there. But it's so, so many old products. Oh yeah, it's absolutely vintage. And that's what makes it so interesting. You do not see these items anymore nowadays. No. All right, and then I see a fridge right next to you. Let's check it out. No fridge empty. No. Luckily. Yeah, it smells not that good to be mm -hmm. honest. All right, can we have this draw over here? Oh, it's a re recipe, okay, for cooking and some other recipes, yeah. Okay, handwritten. So this was definitely where they would prepare their meals with. And some other cookbooks. <laughs> oh, they definitely love uh, creating some good dinner. What's in this one? So, some knitting tools here. And then, wow. again, everything. 
absolutely pristine. One of the most untouched places we've seen in France, to be honest. Not a single thing that has been stolen, neither vandalized. Unbelievable. How could you just walk away from such a beautiful residence? I don't know, man. It's always a question. Oh, look at the large collection over here of all these tiny oil lamps. The china plates. The tiny figurines. I love the walls. Yeah, they look cool, huh? Wow. They richly decorated all their walls and all their tiny corners. <laughs> a lot of love and dedication was put inside of this property. Oh yeah, for sure, man. And it was once a very vivid and homely place. Oh, believe it. It was. I mean, take a look at the other room. You can definitely tell that it was a very warm and cozy place. Oh yeah, wow. And this room also has all those stone walls. And look at the huge Engelkoek fireplace right in front of us. We have the same ceiling design and pattern. Wow, a beautiful French grandfather clock. It's a big one, eh? Well, what is on the painting is sea, and then all these old lamps. Yeah, that one was even for an old carriage. Yeah. And then what is over here? Oh, this is to open up envelopes, right? I don't know, to be honest. It's like some envelope cutter. Look at all these ornaments and items. There are so many tiny details. Precious items too. Oh my, a very antique rotary phone. Oh. There are some proper antiques in there, man. There's even still like a royal symbol in it. Absolutely insane. But like proper antiques. Oh my gosh. It's actually bronze statue it's from complete bronze i think so to be honest and also look at the lamp of the bronze yeah. again it's another carriage lamp look how this is made by the way over there you had a tiny window there would be minimal light coming in there is even still water inside this face but i don't understand it because it's a fake plant it's it's also fake water oh yeah <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. And then the, this was the back door, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And then there was this spiral staircase leading up to a corridor that will blow your mind. But yeah, just be patient. Be because patient. Yeah. You're not ready for what's about to follow, to be honest. No, it's unbelievable. We never found something like that, and we will never find it again. It's one in a one in a lifetime opportunity. By the way, have you seen this? shoe it's like a very old clump yeah, sort it's, of it's decoration it's it's not real i was looking at it then it's completely made out of wood yeah and we also have these balls for a game of the french jeu de boule very popular here this carved wooden statue of this face <laughs> looks so crazy well and then look at these oh yeah the vegetation is just growing inside and these ones are beautifully carved. Impressive. You can tell the cobwebs in between them as well. Hardly any hands of humans have touched this place ever since abandonment. <laughs> the Sony television over here. Yeah, that's good, man. Oh, look on top of us. Wow. It's just hanging up here. Some decoration too, and all those strings of cobwebs in between them. And then, look, I don't know if you properly see it, but... Oh yeah, surely. You see why it's hanging, because it's all covered in cobwebs. And yeah, you can definitely tell that they very often made big fires inside the place. It's completely black, like yeah. completely black. 
all leading to the chimney above. What is this? I think it's an instruction, a manual, something. Oh yeah, yeah. Even still, there are magazines are left over here. And over there are some newspapers. Talking about these magazines, huh? <laughs> these are very old ones. <laughs> yeah, they look very old. Is there a date on? on the right? There yes. should be a date somewhere. Isn't it on the right? On the right? Oh, okay. No. Oh my! My year of birth, 1998. 26th of June is this one. So that's a very old newspaper. Yeah, this one is also from 1998, September. Should this place really be abandoned for 22 years? I think it's be abandoned. in this state and condition. I think it's abandoned for a very long time already. Like a very long time. Unbelievable how it just remains imperturbable of anyone. Only nature did its job. Oh yeah. My gosh. And this is chemistry tools, right? Yeah. Yeah, some of them and some are also just fancy jugs for some liquor, for example. Look, those ones even have shapes of fishes and everything. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? What? This oh, one? Those are like old ink letters and this was to write with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are old ink This is incredible. That's probably ancient. Yeah, where they could erase the ink with. Where are the old ink pots? Actually, I'm missing them on the desk. It's decoration right now. Wow. Well, over here are many personal files. I'm not gonna go into detail. No. Even though the place does not exist anymore, it's still no. very important to stay discreet with this place. Because if somebody bad finds out about it, a crime can happen. Easily. And we don't want to cause that. Easily. Any of them. Look over here. Very beautiful, tiny French stove. There's some dried barren plants and decoration. And even still, all the keys of the premises are hanging up. But you know what I really want to mention out? Is look at the design of the sofa. You've ever seen it before? It's very strange. I, I the think the texture is strange, yeah. Yeah. It's, is it even comfortable? Huh. It doesn't feel comfortable. No. Though. No. <laughs> Probably quite unusual. Well, this was once the main door. And mm -hmm. another wonderful another. grandfather clock. This place actually has many of them. Oh yeah. This is not the last one, they will see. And then look, besides these two chairs, is this, what is it, a wine barrel or? Yeah, a very tiny wine cask and on the side you could turn it. Okay, okay. But now they just use it for storage. But back in the days, this was actually used to uh, grind all the tra grapes and everything. Uh, dang, a stuffed lizard. Ugh. That's kind of scary. It's so strange. Yeah. What is that doing here? I don't know. Oh, a very old telephone as well. What the heck? We've only seen a phone like this one time before. Yeah. In the castle of the alchemist. The Chateau Castle, indeed. Incredible. And this was once a very old fashioned stone sink. But Imagine that. We're gonna mention out one last thing. All right, first, zoom this corner. I think that is very cool. It's um, like uh, when they go to the church, you know, it's like a very religious uh, sign. So many ancient artifacts inside this place. True history. Another carved wooden statue. 
And when Moreno said that could be crimes, believe me, there can also be a lot of thieves because what is in here? It's extremely valuable. This will blow your mind. This is very old money from France. This is just a picture, but then we go in closer detail. And I think it was this one. No, this one is from 1967 and then... All right, help me, bro. Where is it? Those coins are just still shiny. It's incredible. Uh, I need to find it. There are some very old coins in between them. This even looks like Arabian money. There was one coin which was from 1884. Dang. There it is. Here. 1844. Okay, wait, wait. Can you turn it again? 1844, this coin. That's almost two centuries ago. And it's still in a good shape. Yeah, it's in, in a very, very, <laughs> very decent condition. Oh yeah, for sure. Unbelievable. Man. And yeah, this is just full of it, it was a collection. Dang! Okay, wait. <laughs> this one is even sealed. Looks like this was literally taken out of the ground. I think this is a very ancient artifact. Lyre de France. Oh, this coin is completely destroyed. It's from oh. very long ago. Oh, you, you want to know how long ago? Tell me. 1699. No! <laughs> 1699. No. I don't know if you can see it properly, but it's uh, 1699. Oh my gosh. This thing is probably worth thousands of euros. Believe me, for real. I mean, these are real coins. These are probably worth loads of money. We only searched at the the coin from 8044, and that was only 150 euros right now. So imagine the one from 6099. A museum piece, an exquisite museum piece. No other words left behind. No. Nope. All right. Well, we continue from the living room. Right. A small side room and a little passage. What's just the toilet? And then, actually, look besides the radiator, we also have this. What is it? An a very old stove. Yeah. Sure. Completely made out of copper. Yeah. A French one. So plenty of walking canes under the net of cobwebs over here. Yeah, I personally think that this eventually was an elderly man and he just passed away and his children just tried to restore some things, but they never managed and they never continued and now it's abandoned. But we finally about to find the first thing which has to do with the man being an officer. Oh, this was a gun holder, right? Yes. On a spot like there. that. Yeah. And then you would and you would easily take out the gun. Dang. That's cool one. The radio or something? Yeah. Just new in the box. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, and look at this bathroom. Completely made out of stone, the back part at least. Truly traditional. I love it. So ambient. Imagine just having a bot here. Oh, it's like a, an oriental head or something. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck. What is over there actually? Some sea creatures. Oh, and these are some fossils. Wow. In the back. Beautiful. Ah, I've sorry. I've got webs in my hair. Look at those very old perfume dispensers. Yeah, there was cobwebs everywhere. Yeah, I thought I felt something falling over my head. But besides that, this is just a bathroom. Again, some other artifacts of the man. 
that he was a very important man. And imagine the reason is probably in the bathroom is because he changed his clothes, maybe had a shower, right he put these ones off, put them right over here, and they were left ever since. His shoulder emblems. Wow. Unbelievable, man. What a place. Okay, and then we're going to the next area. Very special ones, very this, rare pieces. This is cool, this one, what is this? It's a very old one from Paris. If you can put away your hands. Yeah, sorry. But how does it work? What the hell? I feel like a pirate right now. it like there, you can see the design on it. Look what's all written on it from Paris and stuff. Touristes. <laughs> I've never seen something like this. No, no, not a not walking cane. But there are many, why so many walking canes? It seems that he also liked collecting certain items, you know? I think this guy was very wealthy. Like, very, very wealthy. So many historical gems and treasures. Just left to rot inside this place. Yeah. What a shame. Also, look at the cases of two other clocks here. Beautiful paintwork. Wow. You know, this is like a typical home where you can just tell that they, uh, the past owner just tried to um, collect a lot and just have a lot. And eventually you see the only thing that remains are your own adventures because all your material stuff just remains in place. There are antiques in here which are probably worth over 10,000 yeah. euros. But you don't I mean, take anything with you when you pass away. Bro, look at this table. <laughs> look at it. If they would make this right now for you, it's unbelievably high expensive. It's so well detailed. Unbelievable. That's crazy. Huh? All right. Imagine in case this place is abandoned for 20 years, it would just be insane. Yeah. yeah. Oh, everything is still in this mint condition. Oh, look at those old uh, figurines and puppets there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look on top, there are even more. Wow. Egyptian to me. Oh yeah, definitely uh, another style. And then where is one of their bedrooms? And have a look at this unique concave ceiling shape. <laughs> that is something very rare to, to yeah. see. It's Uniquely built. And also the palms over here. You can tell that he had a wife. Yeah, plenty of boxes still filled. <laughs> the tag is even still on this chair. <laughs> the price was 39 yeah. francs. Still the price in francs. No, no, in euro. E uh, euro. 39 euro. Oh, over here it says. Prise en euro et prise en francs. So yes. this the prize in euros and this the prize in francs. It's crazy, man. Actually, it's just a simple chair over here. It's 39 euros. <laughs> Except the cost of everything else. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is a very, very famous traditional French game. Yeah, with the, with the color balls, right? Yeah, with the marbles, yeah. Yeah, that's very cool. I found this one time before in the Movie Maker's Mansion. A similar game like this, but this one is still entirely complete, and that's impressive. Wow. 
another beautiful wardrobe. All the perfumes. Crazy. Man. <laughs> Go set still. I hope your heart, your weight, that's all I can read of it. The very uh, hard handwriting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what is this actually? I've never seen this before. It's, oh, it's a compass. Damn, bro, that's sick. Wow. Damn, it's a very cool compass. This looks straight out of an Indiana Jones movie. <laughs> right? I mean, all the items, they are genuinely very old. Yeah. Old letter. Yeah. Nothing gonna need it. This was a thermometer, right? No. Oh, or a pen. Oh yeah, it's a thermometer. Yeah. Don't wanna know what that has been. Luckily I'm wearing gloves. And then on the other side of there is another wardrobe. That one also still consists all the clothes of the former residence, Mr. Roger and his family. Whether he had children? I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure, but this. You can tell how many clothes there are because it's completely skewed. Yeah. Because of the weight in the center. Oh, but I really need to find this uniform. This, this is your chance. If it's not like here, it. it's nowhere. Uh, these look like uniforms. I mean, this looks like something you could badge on, but I don't know. Where is Mr. Roger's uniform? It seems it's not. Oh, <laughs> oh watch out. Yeah, it seems it's not in this uh, wardrobe. No, no. Nowhere do we found. By the way, I just only touched this chair. <laughs> Did not damage anything, just for your information. We always try to be very discreet with all the precious items inside. Yeah. All right. All right. And then we're walking upstairs and there comes the big surprise of this abandoned house. I've never found this. Moreno never found this. <laughs> we will never find it again. This shocked us so, so hard. We just gotta go upstairs. You will remain speechless if you see this, honestly. And before we go, this is not set up. This was literally how we found this. And, and how it also was originally found. How it also was originally found. And you're probably asking this? Well, come have a look. Oh my. Gosh, <laughs> what These the heck? These are all rifle guns, literally stored right next to each other. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve of these rifles right over here, <laughs> just stored. And these are real rifles. I mean, all right, have a proper look. First show them and then show the details on the bottom. It's so beautiful. Oh yeah, look over here, even all these dares with the antlers. Whoa. And yeah, these were hunting rifles. For sure, double barreled hunting rifles. They also had a specific name, right? Yeah. Winchester guns? Winchester guns, yeah. Double barreled Winchester guns. All right, they're not loaded. So we already checked everything for We safety. already checked everything. But you probably know how it works. You put the bullet in and put this out. Yes. Press it like that. And then the other one, like up, up, up. Put it back. Let's see. All right. 
placing it back. And of course, load it. That's one, that's two, and as you can see, right over here, I have one, pull one. Yes, and if the animal's not dead yet, the second one. Yeah, they were probably once used for military purposes, but also once for hunting. These were definitely used for hunting and indeed maybe for military uses. My gosh, what a find. This is unbelievable. This is a legendary find. I mean, finding them in this condition, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, even look at this pipe over here too. It's very detailed and also, it's a big one, man. Eh? Even oh. hippo over here. It's out of decoration. All right, I think. We first want to show them this. Yeah, and after that, the other room there. Some old Africa ornaments, actually. Yeah. Safari. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a safari team here, just in this corridor. No need to go inside the jungle. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go to this part over here. It's quite narrow, actually, in this part. Yeah, it is. We have to bang over there. Well, over here is one tiny door, solely leading to a tiny toilet. And then right next to it, they had their bathroom, another one. Yes, with a shower. And then right over here, another bedroom. Well, and what is actually to be found over here? I think it's a lot of children things. Is mm. this bottle still filled? Oh no, it looked to me on first glance. Do you think there was wine in it? I think there was a lamb, bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was a bottle, but they put, made a lamb out of it, mm -hmm. you see? They put it in the mm -hmm. part where the cork normally is. Oh, there are some things to find over here. What I'm most curious about is so if you look over there, there are trophies. And honestly, I do think they had a child and this was the children's room. Yeah, yeah. And have a look at these trophies. Do you know what it is? Because I can translate it. Yeah, this was, uh, let's see. The this was uh, Marathon. Oh yeah, 100 kilometers. Damn. That's long. Healthy people. Look this. Whoa. This fossil. Oh, sick, huh? So cool, the old skeleton. Oh, it's preserved, man. Whoa. It's probably from an animal that's even extinct right now. Yeah. Prehistoric. <laughs> All right. Let's head back to show you the other rooms on that side over there. So right over here we actually have a sewing machine, something that's almost never missing inside of a French abandoned place. Mm -hmm. And again, many African uh, yeah, decorations. Statues, yeah, statues. wooden statues. Yeah, statues. Very African uses of wood. Maybe the man even had an African uh, background, who knows. That I can't pick it up completely. It's very hard to see the brand's name. You can see it? Oh, there is another brand written on it. No? No, but it's not a singer. Oh. I don't know why it's locked over there. It's always locked on one side. Yeah. For the key. Alright, let's put these ones back where they were left. Parfait. And then we have another bathroom. And this is pretty overstuffed. I mean, this is the sign that we clearly can tell that somebody tried to, yeah, fix it, you know. At least store stuff, but it's very messy. Plenty of magazines and paperwork. Oh, and even this old cap of wear. Yeah, 
Officer this was Gap. his cap. I mean, look, wait, you can see it. That's so cool. Yeah, that's his old hat. Oh my. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, even more fossils and stones there. Yeah, yeah. I really like these colored stones. You know, I'm fascinated by stones. Yeah. They're awesome. They're really beautiful. So many frames and artwork over here too. Oh yeah. Oh, look. Bro, this is another bus. This is very cool. Wait, can you turn it? The texture is so interesting. And the colors. You know what is this? It's <coughs> the, the coral. The, I don't know. Co coral? Oh, coral, yeah. yeah. Yeah, coral. It's just all. It's the animal itself. Is it even real? Yeah, it is. But it's it's like gold. Mm, yeah, this um, I don't know the exact name for it again, but I don't think it's gold gold. No, but it's very shiny. Yeah, right. Can you also, turn it to this side again. Look at this. <laughs> what the heck, man? Sick, huh? It's <laughs> glittering in the camera. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, See guitar. It? Guitar over there. Yeah. I've already pointed out. Damn. Yeah, and furthermore, there's just many things stored over here. But look, this is my point. What I wanted to say is over there it says fragile. So, yeah, that means that they try to store some things. Yeah, or this was just once a room for visitors and they use it for storage in the last days. Okay. What have you seen? Another one. Another stone. No. Oh. Freshly in the package. Oh! Still in its package indeed. Still oh, in its package. This is freshly. This is fresh, fresh, fresh. L'officier du Ranqué. How do I look? Like an official. Damn. <laughs> Honestly, you, you seem very genuine now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see me as a police officer one day. Well, a police lieutenant. All right. Well, and then lastly, we're going to the very last room inside of this marvelous place. And it's another bedroom. A very big one. Have a look at the shape of the ceilings and walls again this was the room built right under the roof oh and have a look this is so cool damn room all these well what is it i wouldn't say paintings portraits yeah, and pictures pictures mostly pictures but this one looks very old yeah, yeah one of the family ancestors maybe i think so yeah another giant african <laughs> carved you wooden that, head you know that these things are also worth a lot huh oh yeah you can only guess by seeing it already right. it should be heavy too it, it is quite heavy yeah and it's very detailed oh bro it's very heavy actually i love it oh it's beautiful Over here in the corner, they collected so many things. Over here, even animals and creatures of the ocean. You know what I actually really like is that they had like they collected loads of things, but it all has a specific theme, you know? Yeah, because over here is also coral, you see, mm -hmm. right next to all these sea animals. <laughs> Not a sea animal over there. Tiny uh, knife sword. Well, this is cool. Damn, I wasn't expecting to find this. Look, whoa! Oh my god, what the heck? Bro, oh, this is like a museum in here, man. Oh, yeah, this, this is not just a house. This really is like oh, a look, museum. This was once another one. 
see it's the same one with that. It's oh gone. yeah, it's broken. Oh damn. I mean also this, this is a spoon, but it's like a very, um, uh, I think this is African. I've seen this in movies too. This is how they used to carve their own spoons. Right. Like they used to create them and they had these carvings in it. These are some proper museum pieces over here. It's so unbelievable. Wow, and have a look at this jazz table. Oh, that's just amazing. On the sides you even had the old figures. You see, white. The horse. Respectively black on the other side. Oh yeah. Wow. This is all just carved. Incredible. Also some wood burning art. I love it. And then what is pretty sad in my eyes is when you have such proper antiques, you have this very simple mattress. I won't even call the bed. I won't even call the bed, yeah. Well, and then we go to the beautiful antiques again. The line over there, and this is a very old camera. It's a camera? It's a camera. For no you? way. Yeah, it's, it's a camera. It's a camera. What? Yeah, it is. It is a side. It is a side view a mirror camera. You would look in here, and then uh, it you could open it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, this is the plate, and then you would look in here. And if it's good, if I'm correct. You see the picture in the frames? Whoa. This is a very old fashioned one. Imagine I don't know how those if we words. had to make a video with this equipment. Climbing over fences, climbing through windows, hiding for owners, running away for security with this camera. Thank you 2021 for your technological development. Well, the thing you're holding right now is also heavy, but this, yeah, this Ooh. is on another level. <laughs> Totally impractical, but anyway, let's show you the last things right now. We have some other iron statues of animals, swine, birds, even a tiger over here fighting with a crocodile. Yeah, this is cool, huh? Wow. So detailed. And look at this over here. The blue whale, the big blue whale. It's the biggest animal alive. Made out of wood, completely carved out by hands. What a master craft of work. And then look at the face, it's just still in its proper yeah, storage box, I would say. Yeah. Well, and then we have this banjo here. And look at these pillows. And then right beneath What's it. What's that? It's a secret. What? Very old sable. Oh yeah. <laughs> like from the French, you know the French intro? Like yeah. the very first French room. <laughs> and we have it Probably yeah. used in sword fighting or shielding maybe. Oh yeah. Well, I think this one, looking at it and looking at the texture of it, Oh, this was not for a sport. This is just a real antique vintage one. He was just an antique collector. Let's put it back where we found it. A little bit hidden behind those pillows. Well, oh. so this is that note. Let's see. Well, this was from him, but I'm not gonna show it. No. Because it's too personal. All right. Oh, and then the last part. All some beautiful decorations again. And of course, some other very personal files. Man, let's end with this beautiful plate over here with the angel. And I'm, I'm lost for words. This place was nail-biting, it's 
It was a risky one, but it was a mind-boggling experience to actually rummage through all those precious antique items. This man was such an antique collector. I mean, he was of course very wealthy. Even owning these antiques like several years ago, it's still proper antiques. Also the African relative. I think inside of this home are worth millions. Yeah, well, definitely one million. Believe me, definitely one million. Um, only out of valuables of antiques in there. It's unbelievable. Well, and I certainly really liked it. It was so special to find something like and this. And we are so happy that we could finally release this video right now after such a long, long wait. Day. Yeah, this is this is probably a long, long, long time ago. Whenever you're seeing this right now, probably have a full grown beer or something. I look like Santa Claus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> for real, this was beautiful. This was an amazing experience. Again, finding these guns was so, so unreal. I will never do that again. Even from now on to a year when this video will be released, I will never find that again. And I don't think you will too, man. I nah. don't think so. Well, we hope for the best, but I'm afraid this will be a one-time... Well, a one-time opportunity. Absolutely. And as you see on my face, I really enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, comment right down below. Ring the bell notification button right up there. And then... We will see you on our next adventure. Peace out.